Greetings, class. My name is Dr. Gary Piercy. I'll be facilitating our learning adventure for the next seven weeks. And uh, I really look forward to meeting you here in a couple of weeks at our residency. I wanted to take just a few moments to kind of give you a brief introduction to the course um, and uh, let you know what you're getting into, I guess. Uh, first of all, this course has a, a research component that is uh, built into the course. And uh, in this particular course, we're going to be uh, focusing on doing a case study. Uh, and it's important that you begin reading right away uh, this book by Robert Yen. It's called Case Study Research. This is the sixth edition. Uh, Robert Yen is considered to be the guru of case study. Now, uh, Obviously, at a uh, master's level, it's not the type of research that you would do at a doctoral level. And so uh, there's going to be some elements of the case study that we're not going to really uh, push forward. But we want to give you the basics of a case study so that you can uh, have a good foundation uh, for how to conduct a case study in the future, should you decide to go uh, into doctoral work. Uh, we have, uh, so before I move on, this book we will be focusing on for the first two weeks of the course because it's very important that you gain a foundational understanding of case study so that as we progress through the course, you'll be able to implement the, uh, the tools of case study and the practices that are involved in case study so that you can ultimately do your final uh, submission in the course. There are three assignments in the course. Uh, the last one is a culmination, if you will, of the entire course, which will include actual case study research that you are going to do and that you're going to report upon. So make sure without doubt that you begin reading this book right away. Uh, read the first three chapters in the first week and the second three chapters, there's six total uh, during our residency week. Uh, this will be the primary focus of our residency. Okay, so make sure you've got it. The other two books that are required for the course, uh, this one is called Organizational Change. And we will be using this book in week three, four, and three and four, and possibly half of five. And then this book, Organizational development will be uh, the last part of the course. Now, I am going to be emailing you today as soon as I get finished with this video. I'm going to be emailing you uh, a syllabus. It's reflected in the concourse in the class. However, this will be a syllabus that you can actually uh, print out if you want. And in the syllabus, I've got everything that you need. You, there are terms that you need to become familiar with. You need to begin working on those terms now. Um, you need to begin uh, looking over the assignments that are going to be required and uh, become familiar with the due dates and all of those kinds of things. So I will be emailing that to you today. Um, let's see what else. Uh, every week I will post a video. Um, YouTube only allows a 15 minute video, so it, it will be very brief, um, but it will give you a solid overview of the content for that week. Um, in addition, uh, there are discussion questions that are going to be due each week. Even during our residency week, there will be discussion questions that you will need to engage uh, throughout the seven weeks in the course. Uh, I have two discussion questions for each week, and it's very important that everyone engage in the discussion questions early in the week. Um, beginning of the week for us is Monday, and the end of the week is Sunday. If you're posting for the first time on Saturday or Sunday, it's almost like you're not participating in the discussion forum. And so I really want to encourage you, try as a goal 
to answer the first discussion question by Tuesday or Wednesday and answer the second discussion question by Thursday or Friday, and then engage in conversation and discussion. The purpose of the discussion forum is to learn, and we learn from one another. And so I really want to push you a little bit to uh, read outside sources, sources other than our textbooks, in order to find new information that you can bring to the class that we can all learn. Because, you know, I think there are six or seven of us all together. And if each one of us would work on one other source than the textbook, and if that were a different source from the other people, then we would have six or seven new sources of information that we can glean, glean from. I call it learning. It's learning and gleaning at the same time. We can learn from one another. And so, uh, you know, you, you learn by participation in, in, in online courses. And so please do your very best to do a little research, go the extra mile, and not only will that benefit you, but it will benefit the class as well. Also, uh, I'll just warn you right up front, I am a stickler when it comes to writing and when it comes to proper formatting for your papers. So make sure that you are following MLA and uh, following it to the T. Um, I believe that writers are not born, they learn to write. And so I will be critiquing your writing so that you can be more proficient as a scholar. Uh, this is master's level work and master's level uh, work will be the expectation. Uh, I'm not trying to put any fear in you or anything like that. I just want you to be the very best that you can for the kingdom of God. Well, I guess that's about it. Um, be sure to review uh, my videos each week and make sure that you do the reading. Uh, you'll see in the syllabus that, that I send you that some weeks are really heavy. I mean, like 200 pages reading. It's hard to do all of this in seven weeks. Hit the high spots, okay? Yeah, you don't have to read every word. Learn to read and pick up on the most important part uh, of each section. And uh, get a general understanding so that you can progress get bogged down in reading word for word, you'll never finish. And uh, that's just all part of academics. So uh, I'm looking forward to an exciting class. I'm really looking forward to our residency together. Um, Dr. Marco tells me that uh, on Monday of residency, we'll be going uh, out to lunch as a group uh, on DKU. Yay! And uh, so it'll be a really exciting time. Uh, so come with an expectation that you're going to engage in the class and learn and uh, and contribute to the learning overall learning experience of the class. I live in uh, the Houston area. Uh, this is my home. I saw it with my little dog. I've got two dogs. Uh, Snow White is a white German Shepherd and then Hope is a little Dachshund. And uh, I learned a lot about the difference between authority and power with these two dogs because uh, Snow White, the German Shepherd, has enough power with one bite to kill Hope. However, Hope has the authority in the house when it comes to dogs. And so whatever Hope says, that's what Snow White does. Kind of a picture, if you will, of the authority that we have as sons and daughters of God over the enemy. The enemy may have power but we have power and authority so we can take authority over him. So I just want to pray right now for the class. I want to pray that God will help us, that we can become the sons and daughters of God that he desires us to be, to lead organizations into the fullness of his kingdom. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, God, for the opportunity that you've given us to participate in this class for the next few weeks. And Father, we just commit the class to you. We pray, Jesus, that you would be glorified in everything that we say and everything that we do. Lord, we ask that you would help us to learn the 
uh, concepts or that we are uh, teaching and that we are learning so that we can apply them into uh, organizations that deal with kingdom principles. Father, that these organizations may bring glory to you. Father, we love you. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for King's University. Thank you, Father, for every student. Thank you for their commitment to you and to your kingdom. Bless them in Jesus' name. Bless them in their efforts. Bless them in their work. Bless their families. Provide for them, Father, in every way. We'll surely give you all the praise and the glory. Love you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you uh, by video in one and in person this weekend. God bless you. Have a great day.